Well, hey. Well, today, earlier this morning, I got up and I took off to a family member's house who lives in uh, central Ohio. Me, myself, uh, I'm in north central Ohio. Normally, we pick pawpaws at his place the second weekend of uh, September. Well, today is the last weekend of September. Last year, the last weekend of September, I got pawpaws out of this tree. Only have one cluster of fruit. This year, only have one cluster of fruit, which gives me a, uh, an opportunity to give my opinion as to why the late pawpaw harvest and why so little fruit. Well, when springtime came in and the flowers were just starting to come out, the uh, uh, weather turned for worse and we had a cold freeze one night. And then a day or two went by and we had another cold freeze. Now what had happened was is we had flowers coming out in the trees. Now all your flowers that come out inside these pawpaws, uh, they come out as female flowers. And the first flowers that come out, as they age, they transform into a male flower, which means they have pollen. And then the other flowers that come on a little bit later, they get pollinated by those earlier flowers and that's where we have our pollination going on. Well the freeze that we had, well your your female flowers as they're coming out, they can handle the cold because they're just starting to come out. But whenever that that flower is a male flower, I'm I'm assuming that it just did them male flowers in. Well normally what ends up happening is, is as your trees are being pollinated, you have other flowers coming out, but the flowers that came out prior to them have all been pollinated and they're not going to be male flowers. And those are female flowers. They'll turn into male flowers, but there's no flowers for them to pollinate. So I think what happened was it killed off the male flowers, a large number of the female flowers, and what was left uh, the female of the female flowers at that particular time became male flowers and pollinated some of the secondary flowers that came out that normally wouldn't make it through pollinization and you ended up with less fruit and you end up with an extended season a lot later season than you normally have but anyways I'm looking at flower sets on this here, and it's got plenty of flower sets for next year. There's flower sets all over in this tree, and I can only hope that next year turns out to be a better year. I've got another tree over here I just came from, and I checked it, and that's the first time that it has flower sets. But this tree, leaves are starting to turn yellow here and there, and it's getting ready to go dormant, and the pawpaws are still hanging in there so I don't know Some good looking fruit in this one right here can't wait to try them but hopefully next year will turn out to be a better year well the, the fruit at my family members house uh, <clears throat> he had plenty of fruit had an abundance of fruit but he's got an abundance of trees and on top of that his trees are coming on extremely late He's two weeks behind now, probably going to be three weeks behind. I was able to get four baskets of pawpaws. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make another trip up there or not, or down there. But the thing about it is, he'll have pawpaws coming on probably all the way to the end of October. And this one right here, I look for probably the second week of October. I have one by the chicken coop, by the way, and it's got a couple of clusters in it. But for people who only have one or two trees, you didn't have much as far as fruit. People who had the, the larger uh, orchard setting, like my family member does, you ended up with plenty of fruit. Anyways, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Any comments are welcomed, and I'll try to answer all comments. You have a God-blessed day.